Hello my lovelies, it's Zena, and today I want to show you step by step how to find the intersection point of two lines. Find the intersection point of the two lines given in vector form. We have line G and line H. And we want to find this intersection point of these two lines, so let's call this point P. And to find it, we have to set these two lines equal to each other. So no matter how your lines look, you always set these two lines equal to each other. The question is how, because we have three coordinates and we have to do it coordinate by coordinate. So we start with the first coordinate here and the first coordinate here, same here, first coordinate first coordinate. And now we set them equal to each other. We start here. 2 plus s times 2. Uh, s times 2, I want to write it as 2s, so I have plus 2s is equal to, and then the same thing here, we start with a 3, plus t times 1 is a plus t. Same thing now with the second coordinate so that we get a second equation. So second coordinate here, second here, second here, second here. So we have 2 plus s times 1 is just plus s is equal to, and here 0, okay we don't have to write it down, plus t times negative 2, I write it as negative 2 times t. Then the same thing with the third coordinate, so third here, third here, third here, third here, and we get a third equation. Negative 3 plus s times negative 1, so this is negative s is equal to, and here we start with a negative 1, plus t times 2, so we have plus 2t. And now we have a system of equations. We have three equations, but only two variables, which is okay. We have to solve this system for equation uh, system of equations now for s and for t. So let's see how we can do it. There are multiple ways how to do this, um, but one for example would be to solve the second equation for s, because it's pretty easy to solve for s, and then after that we uh, insert it into the first equation. So let's take the second equation as it is right now, let's write it down first, and then let's solve this for s by just subtracting 2 on both sides of the equation, because then this cancels out and we already solved for s immediately. And on the other side we have negative 2t minus 2. So this is our second equation now, so instead of this version I'm going to write it down like this, what we just did. We solved for s and now I want to insert this for s in my first equation. So I want to take the second equation and put it in to my first one. So here I have the 2 plus 2 times and instead of my s I take everything that is s. I just have to write it in parentheses so that it's all going to be multiplied by this 2. So I have negative 2t minus 2 and this is equal to 3 plus t. And now I only have one equation and only t in here as a variable, so let's try and solve for t. Uh, maybe we get rid of these parentheses here first by multiplying each element by the 2 so that we have the 2 here in front. Then we have 2 times negative 2t is negative 4 t, and then 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. On the other side we just write it down as it is. Okay, let's simplify here a little bit. 2 minus 4 equals negative 2, then we have the minus 4t in here, and here the 3 plus t. 
To solve for t, maybe we bring this t to the left side by subtracting t on both sides of the equation. So that here we have the negative 2. Negative 4t minus 1t equals negative 5t. And on the other side we only have the 3 because this cancels out. Okay, this is what we have so far. We still want to solve for t, so let's add 2 on both sides of the equation so that this comes to the right side. This cancels out then. We only have negative 5t on the left side, and here 3 plus 2 equals 5 to finally solve for t. We have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 5 here and here so that this cancels out and we have solved for t and get a result of 5 over negative 5 which equals negative 1. This might be a result for our intersection point but maybe it won't. <laughs> so let's use it for now, but we have to check something. So don't use it yet to calculate your intersection point. Let's first find s, because this is only t, and we can find s by inserting t into the second equation here. So the second equation then gives us the value of s. It is negative 2 times our t, what is negative 1, one, and then we have to subtract 2. So our s is negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2 minus 2. Our s is going to be 0. Maybe. We don't know yet. I told you to be a little bit more patient. We take our two values that we found and now we have to check one last thing. Check which of these equations you've used to find these values. In our case right now, we've used the second equation and then we've used the first equation. We haven't used the third equation at all yet, but we have to make sure that these values are also valid for this equation. So, this is the last thing we have to check before really using them for our intersection point. We have to insert these values for s and t here in our third equation and check whether this is a true statement then. So, we have negative 3 minus my s is, okay, 0, nice. On the other side, we have negative 1 plus 2 times and my t is negative 1. Let's see. Here we have negative 3 if we calculate it. Here we have negative 1. 2 times negative 1 equals minus 2 here then. So on the left side we have the negative 3 and here we have negative 3 as well. This is great. We have a true statement. So now we are allowed to use these uh, values for our intersection point. The thing is, if you had a statement like this, for example, so you you insert your values and then you get this at the end, which is not true, then you are not allowed to use these values, then you don't have an intersection point at all, which can happen. But if you find S and T values and this is a true statement, then we will find an intersection point. We go back to the beginning. We have these two values, now you can decide whether you want to use s and insert it here for your s, it's a zero, I would recommend this, or if you take your t, if you like it more, and insert the negative one in here, it doesn't matter if you don't make any mistakes, you have to get the same intersection point p. So my p is going to be if I insert the 0 here. So I have, instead of the s, I have 0 times, well, then I have 2 plus 0 times 2, which equals just 2, then 2 plus 0 times 1, which equals just 1. 2. And the third coordinate, you might know it already, is going to be the negative 3 because the 0 zeroes out everything here. So this is our intersection point. Shall we try and insert the t in here to see if we get the same point? Let's, let's see so that we 
are uh, happy what we get here that we don't didn't make any mistakes so we insert the negative one for our t here so we have three plus negative one times one negative one times one is negative one so three minus one equals two looks good zero nice plus negative one times negative two is two looks perfect and now the last one negative one plus negative one times two this is negative two negative one minus two equals negative three and yes it doesn't matter which value you insert it's just important that you take your s and put it in the s and not in the t so yeah i hope you know now how it works if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i wish you a wonderful day and i hope to see you in one of my next videos take care